and this demonstration will highlight how IT Agent Portable works. To be able to use IT Agent Portable, we need to have one centralized network discovery installation. Uh, because this one will actually give us the ability to create an IT agent portable code so that we can import the data afterwards. So let's go ahead and start off by opening up the Landsweeper hub in your network discovery installation. When we go to settings and then we go to data transfer, you can uh, see that you have the ability to create an IT agent portable code. When you enable the file import, uh, you will actually be able to generate a code over here, a key, so that this key can then be used to pass along as a parameter to your IT agent portable executable. Once the key is generated, you can then save the file import settings, and then we can copy this key over to our workstation where the IT agent portable has to run. Once we're on our workstation, where the actual uh, IT agent portable executable is located, we can then open up this uh, scan options uh, config file, and then we can edit it so that we can fill in the key that we just copied over from our uh, network discovery hub. This key will allow us to uh, authenticate to the hub. You can also uh, specify a specific location where the file should be uh, stored. So once we run this uh, executable and we use the scan uh, parameter, uh, the local scan will start and then afterwards um, it will be encrypted with the key that we just entered and it will be stored in the output file that you also specified in the scan options file. After a minute or so, the local scan will be finished and the data will be stored in your output file. We can now copy over this file to our import folder, which is located on our network discovery hub installation folder. So let's go ahead and copy over this file to the import folder. There's a background process listening in on your network discovery hub, which is taking a look at any new file that is uh, present here. So as soon as this file is detected, it will start processing the file so that it can be added to its discovery results. As you can see, the file has now been picked up by the Network Discovery Hub process, so we can take a look at our Hub UI to see where the discovery result is located. Once we go into our UI, we can see the discovery results over here, and then we can start looking for the device where we just did the IT agent portable scan on. Once we open up the scan, you'll see over here there's a lot of details, and every de data is actually uh, they are grouped into data sections, covering all of your asset properties. This data will then be synchronized to your Landsweeper site, so it becomes part of your inventory. So now that we are back into our hub, we can take a look at the discovery results. And as you can see, we've got 192 right now. So when we open up the results, we'll find our uh, yeah, workstation where we ran IT Agent Portable on, with all of the data included. So once we're back into our Landsweeper site, we can go to our inventory where we'll see that the discovery results from our hub has also been synchronized to our Landsweeper site so that it's part of our inventory right now. If we then go ahead and search for the workstation uh, where we ran IT Agent Portable on, we'll find all of the asset details as well. Once we open up the asset detail page, you, you can see that all of the details have been recorded thanks to our IT agent portable without actually installing anything on the asset itself. We basically just ran an executable silently in the background. So this is an ideal use case for all of your login scripts.